Coming up next on Columbus Connections, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and we are talking to an organization who's on the front lines fighting for those experiencing domestic violence. Stay tuned. Welcome to Columbus Connections. I am your host, David Britt. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and we are talking to the Domestic Violence Roundtable, specifically Annie Davis and Felicia Belk, who are gonna talk about how that organization is spreading awareness and helping victims of domestic violence. Welcome, ladies. Good Hi. afternoon. How y'all doing today? Good, how are you? Good, good, good. Thank y'all for being on the show for such, Thank you for such a needed organization and such a needed cause. Tell us about, well, we'll start with you since you're closest to me. Okay. <laughs> tell me about yourself and tell me why you do what you do. I am Annie Davis. I am a mental health therapist uh, in Troop County, and I work with the Domestic Violence Roundtable. I'm currently the chairperson for that organization. The Domestic Violence Roundtable is a community organization that has a resource of local agencies and businesses in the area that are concerned about the rise of domestic violence in our state and across our country. Um, it is interesting to know that between 2020 and 2021, there was a 57% rise in fatalities mm. due to domestic violence. Um, for the state of Georgia, for 2021, there were 212 actual deaths. 81 of those were murder-suicides, where both parties ended up succumbing to domestic wow. violence. Out of those, 11 of those cases were right here in our community. Mm. That means someone right here in Muskogee County, Columbus, are dying due to domestic violence incidences. All right. Now, Felicia, this is such a big topic, such a big thing. What is it about it that makes you so committed to this cause? Well, I currently work with Georgia Legal Services, who is a law, I'm sorry, a nonprofit law firm here mm -hmm. in the area. Um, with us helping low income individuals with uh, legal matters, we also have to help them at times representing them in TPO cases, yeah. which is a temporary protective order. So I was introduced to the Domestic Violence Roundtable through working with my agency now, and I enjoy doing that. Yeah, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. So the Domestic Violence Roundtable, you all are the organization that's the, that provides the resources for those experiencing domestic violence. So if somebody needs shelter or needs that legal help or needs that awareness or needs to know what their options are, you guys help them with those resources in this area. Absolutely, yes. we are a resource to get them to the proper agency that mm -hmm. they need. Awesome, awesome. And mm -hmm. October being Domestic Violence Awareness Month, you all have some events coming up that's gonna help spread the word. Absolutely, and uh, uh, just to let you know, we're out here 24 seven, we're mm -hmm. out here 12 months, but Domestic Violence Awareness Month is our signature month, and so our goal is to be in the community, yeah. um, making sure that everyone is aware. So Felicia can give you a rundown of what it is that we'll be doing for October. Mm -hmm. That was so cool how she kicked that off for you, you saw <laughs> she that? Did. that? was That was a good little She did a nice off. punt. <laughs> so, for the month of October, um, we are gonna actually have Survivor Series. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be our topic for the the survivors to be able to tell their story and how they're thriving out of domestic violence that they've had to endure mm -hmm. in the past. So on October the 4th, we'll have our first survivor series uh, and it will be the mother of Destiny Virgin, um, Michelle Virgin speaking uh, for that episode. And it'll be all of the survivor series, I'm sorry, will be on Zoom. Okay. So we have like a, a meeting ID number to provide to the people and uh, it's only going to be last an hour, so it's going to start at 12 and end at 1 to be considerate of people's lunch hour. Yeah. So it's easy access, <laughs> it's free. Yes, if you want to be in the privacy, our, you can do it. If right. you be in a All of our events of, that we're yeah. doing are free. It's no charge to anything. So that series starts October 4th. The next thing that we'll have is October 11th, which is our candlelight vigil, which is our big event. Um, mm -hmm. In the past, it's been 
held virtually because of the pandemic. So this time we're back in person and we'll, mm -hmm. it will be held at Woodruff Park on 1000 Bay Avenue starting at 630. We'll be in conjunction with Hope Harbor. Okay. Um, Hope Harbor is going to start it off with a walk at Country's Barbecue. They're going to walk to Bay Avenue and then we have a ceremony um, giving honor okay. on, and, mem and, and memorandum mem of the mm -hmm. victims that were lost to domestic violence. Um, after that, we go back to the Survivor Series of October 18th, where we'll have Ms. Cheryl Smith telling her story. And the last one will be October 25th. I'm sorry, I said October 5th, October 18th. The last one will be October 25th for Ms. Renita Moss sharing her story. Gotcha. Now, how can people go register for the Zoom, find out about um, information about these events? We have a Facebook page, uh, Domestic Violence Roundtable. We have an Instagram page, Domestic Violence Roundtable. We also have an email, domesticviolenceroundtable at gmail.com. So if you're interested, just reach out to us in one of those ways. Gotcha. Now, if somebody is experiencing domestic violence, uh, what should they do? What, what are some of the steps they should take? Well, first of all, we do encourage anyone who's in imminent danger um, to call 911. That's always a, the, the first uh, leg. But if someone is experiencing um, domestic violence or just want to know, because a lot of people don't understand, David, what domestic violence yeah, is. it's not just physical violence. It, 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 because there's so it's many just, more areas. Of it's it. so many more areas. And we want people to understand. So there, there is an 800 number. It's 1-800-799-HAVEN which is 1-800-799-7233. That is the toll-free number. And then we have our local number. Of course, our shelter houses folks that can talk to you. And then you'll be right here locally. That's 706-324-3850. 706-324-3850. Because we want people to understand um, what it looks like and how, how we can help. There is help out there. The one thing that a lot of people, a lot of victims have said is that they didn't know that there was help. Mm -hmm. The goal is to let you know you're not alone and there is help available for you. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And again, if, if they need to reach out to the Domestic Violence Roundtable, they can find you on social media, yes. just anywhere online. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So, you guys yes. are, we're, we're, we're really spreading the word for October, but this is a year-round yes. thing that we're... It's a year-round yes. endeavor, and we do have our membership meetings the second Wednesday of each month. Right now, again, we're on Zoom. You can mm -hmm. get that information off Facebook, uh, but our goal is to keep people at the round table, mm -hmm. the agencies, the police, our, our elected officials at the round table talking about the gaps. Why is it that we don't get the word out? What mm -hmm. is going on there? So please uh, join us every second Wednesday of the month. You go out to the Facebook page and you can get the link to, 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 to meet with us. Awesome. So again, we want to honor those mm -hmm. who have fallen victim mm -hmm. to any form of domestic violence. We want to let those that are experiencing it know that there is help. We want to let them know that there is awareness and there are survivors out there that can help you tell their story and let you know how you can overcome it. Again, go online. All these events are free and it's going to be, you're going to find something there to help you. And keep in mind that the Domestic Violence Roundtable is available year round to help you find resources if you are experiencing any type, any type of domestic violence. Thank you again for watching Columbus Connections. This is